Growing up in Japan, where I'm originally from, I grew up with nature around me. My family was very into gardening, so they taught me from the very young stage that I could be friends with nature. I also had a lovely park in front of the house. That's where I would be most of the time. I'll be outside playing with nature, picking up some flowers and plants. <laughs> I thought they were my friends. I felt that I was surrounded by love, surrounded by nature, and that was just perfect. That's what I needed. I have so many houseplants in this house. And I just wanted to have a living, breathing thing inside of the house. When the lockdown happened, I lost all my jobs and I would look around in my house and there are plants have no idea what's going on in the world. They're just happily doing what they're doing and getting infected or blossoming flowers or whatever. And, and I just thought that was so beautiful. They just have their own world, don't care about what's happening in the human world. I think studying the real houseplants does give me a different perspective. I'm just so impressed how they're so different. All their survival skills, every shape, colors, and to me, their art as well. One of the reasons I enjoy houseplants so much is that they are never perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Well, in my opinion, I never had a perfect house once. There's always something happening. And it's understandable because they're not in their natural habitat. I'm being selfish bringing the plants inside of the house. So they are trying to survive in this environment, but obviously it's not natural. So there will be some browning happening, yellowing all the leaves, and you just spend loads of time trying to care for this plant and from that you kind of create this uh, relationship and when it doesn't survive and it just goes brown and dry and it's so heartbreaking but when i decided to make ninja house plants i try to recreate that imperfection into my art as well so every leaves i make they are none of them are the same they are all different and I also add some browning, dry leaves, yellowing and I make it like it's got its own character and personality. For me the painting is a very important process when I do my art because it brings the leaves to, to look like it's got life and it's got the personality, it's got expression. So I use acrylic paint and to recreate this realism on the leaves that to me it really kind of makes me think about the real houseplants I have seen or studied so it kind of helps me understand like the reasons of this the damage on the leaves. I get emotionally moved many times by just plants around me. We need to respect them and you know you could easily just walk past it but each tree has got its own planet. I suggest people to get houseplants and I hope they struggle because not everything is there for you. They survive their own thing and I think that kind of helps you understand them, but also understanding you and your life. It's, it's difficult. And I think you kind of have to have that kind of difficult feeling, struggles to appreciate the success and the, the beauty that comes out of it. For me, I thankfully I found art as a, a medium to do it, but I hope everyone can find their own ways to appreciate it and celebrate it.